Hello there, grade three and four. How are you doing today? Today is Thursday, April 4th to, oh my goodness, Thursday, April 2nd. Oh, we don't want to be scooching closer to Micah's birthday yet, do we? No, we want to hold off. Micah, your birthday will coming be coming up sooner than you think. Just a few more days. Are you excited? Uh, but truly, today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. A few things for us to take a look at. We're going to go from the bottom to the top. All right. Uh, the first one here that we have is our memory treasure. A real simple one today. So call and tell me that uh, when you can. And then make sure that you're reading the books on Epic. It's really important, especially with the nonfiction ones. Um, you have to get all the way to the end. So you have to go past that glossary and index part. And there's a uh, always a little tab at the end of each story, each book that says finished. And you have to click on that green tab, I think it is usually. Otherwise, it shows that you haven't completed that book. And as always, you do need to take the AR tests on them. That's how I'm giving you a grade on that part, okay? Uh, besides the DT3 work that you do as well, okay? Uh, you need to take a spelling test on um, the words for the printer on Spelling City today. And as I was getting things ready for you to take home for, for your families to come and get for the next few weeks that we'll be doing, I realized that I did already send home your hardcover reading books with you. So I hope that you have read the printer. If not, please read it today or tomorrow and take an AR test on it, okay? Thank you. Um, and then we're going to be talking about Wisconsin Heritage next, okay? So if you wanna get out your little paper for that, if you need to pause the video, go ahead. Um, and get out your paper for that so that we can go through the answers for the crossword puzzle. The test is up and ready to go. It doesn't matter that you didn't finish the thesaurus part. I hope you read it. That's important. You may not have been able to finish the work on the one side here until you have a dictionary or a thesaurus, but that doesn't stop you from reading about it, okay? So make sure that you have read it and have read the whole paper before and watched any videos, any extra things that they have for you, because those are all things that can be on the test. Um, so here are our answers for our crossword puzzle. For a crossed, what direction does the Fox River flow, making it different from most, of our most other rivers? And that is number four, north, N-O-R-T-H, north. Do you remember what other um, big, long river they said also flows north? The Nile. Yep. Do you remember where that is? In Egypt. Number five, Margarita Shures started the first class for this age group in Wisconsin. I've actually gone and toured this house. It's pretty interesting. Kindergarten, K-I-N-D-E-R-G-A-R-T-E-N. -E -E Number seven, immigrants from New England or the British Isles. Uh, seven across, they were called the Yankees, Y-A-N-K-E-E-S. And you thought that was just us, right? Number nine, German, French, Italian are all different ethnic ethnic populations, E-T-H-N-I-C. Now our downwards. Harry Houdini was one of the world's greatest, greatest magicians, M-A-G-I-C-I-A-N-S. The largest ethnic group in the state, number three. Were you surprised? I don't think so. Germans, G-E-R-M-A-N-S. Number four, blank held on to their culture and traditions longer than any other group, and that is Norwegians, N-O-R-W-E-G-I-A-N-S. Number six, people who had to, who leave their, con let me try that again. People who leave their homeland to settle in a new country, number six down, immigrants, I-M-M-I-G-R-A-N-T-S. And number eight, what bay was known for shipbuilding and cherries? Sturgeon, also the name of a fish, S-T-U-R-G-E-O-N, Sturgeon. Alrighty, so again, just fine to review everything in here before you take your test. You're also able to use your publication when you're taking your test, but read carefully and make sure you're answering the question. Here's an example from last week. Um, it asks you, why did children choose the maple tree um, and the answer in the paragraph, or excuse me, in the selection, it didn't say any reason why the children chose as far as what the maple tree was like, but they chose it because government officials asked them to. 
That's why they chose it. So read carefully, all right? Use your good thinkers. Get that metacognition uh, working there for you as well. And then uh, grade four, you have math tests today. Uh, but I wanted, remember I said I would go through one thing that stumped all of you yesterday. And Joanna, you might uh, want to listen to this one too. Then you'll be all prepared for next year. You'll get it right. And that is you were comparing uh, this equation up on the top. And all of you said equal to. All right. So if we look at our first one, this is 25 cents, which is one fourth of a dollar. The next one is not 25 cents. It's 25 one hundredths or one fourth of one cent. So it is way less than a quarter. It's less than a penny. Less than or greater than 25 cents is greater than one fourth of a penny or 25 hundredths cents. I can see where it would get you. The numbers look the same, but because of those symbols, that's what makes it different. All right, uh, fourth graders, if you want to stop right here, you certainly can and get on with the rest of your work. I'm going to go through third grade math, which is multiplying uh, three digit numbers. One second, Joanna, I need to get my math book. So I'm going to pause a second. Could you grab your math book as well if you haven't already? Just when you think you're all ready and then you remember you left it way over on the other table. Hmm, do you ever have days like that? <laughs> I'm sure you do. All right, so not rounding to the nearest dollar. Open up my book here to the right spot. Here we go. All righty. So remember, whenever we're finding the product, that means we're multiplying. And I don't think you'll have any problem with this lesson here. Um, it shows you how you have to carry, and sometimes you have to carry with more than one number. Um, here we go. And um, for example, one of the um, examples that they show you is 234. Let's see. Yep, you're able to see that. Times 4. So four times four is 16, so we're going to write our six and carry our one. Four times three is 12, plus one more is 13, and then we just keep going. Four times two is eight, plus one more is nine. All right, so multiplying three digit numbers is, is no problem. I don't think you'll have any issue with that at all. Read through your lesson, of course, and read carefully. You've been missing things every once in a while, um, so you want to be careful with that, okay, so that uh, you get each answer and ans each question answered. There you go. Um, and then I told you that I would go through one other one for you, and this is just, you have the correct answer, but I really would like you to show me your work. So in this one here um, is an example from yesterday's le lesson, 50 plus 21 plus 17. Remember, we just worked down the page. So 50 plus 1, plus 21, excuse me, is 71, and then we just write the rest down is 17, and then your answer is 88. I understand that you can probably do some of these in your head, but I want you to get used to writing the uh, work to solve each one, okay? All right. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Otherwise, have a great day.